In this video, I will show you how to use Google Calendar. It's pretty straightforward. To access it, you need to be in your Gmail page. So log into your Gmail account and click on the app icon there and click on the Calendar app right here. And you will be presented with this page, hopefully. Here we go. So here's your Calendar page. Now, if you haven't been in Calendar before, this will pop up. Um, you just need to click on Got It and it'll update the calendar on your PC. If you want it on your smartphone, um, you just click on Get It on Google Play or App Store, depending on whether you're with uh, on Android or, or not. So we are upgrading our Google Calendar now. And here we have Calendar, which is currently in the week view. You've got a, a button here, which uh, all looks very familiar, doesn't it? You've got your Create button. A quick add button if you want to put a date in your diary. Here's your calendar date showing you uh, the month of April. And we have our my calendars here. You can see myself and we've got birthdays marked there. So here we are every day for this week. Currently it's Wednesday the 29th of April. As you can see we have nothing at the moment. We have no diary dates for this day. We can see that on Friday the 1st of May, it is actually Labor Day, which Google has marked in for us. So let's create a new date in the calendar. So we clicked on the Create button, and here we are with this page. So pretty straightforward. You've just got a few boxes to fill in at the moment. It is called Untitled Event. It will always say that. So let's just call it Test. We've got the date. as We leave it as today, the time, 12.30 to 1.30. You just change those as you see fit. So this, if you click on it, the drop down box comes up. Very easy to change. Nothing I'm sure that you haven't done before. So we have the date showing as the 30th of April. So let's just stick a location in here. Let's just click London in the UK. If you want to add a video you call, you can. Calendar name, because we're in my Gmail account, it, it uh, defaults to myself for my calendar. You can put a description in if you wish. We'll just say this is a test entry. You can change the event color if you so wish. It's currently on turquoise there. But if you want to pick any other one, pretty simple. And notifications, you've got a choice of email or pop-up. Uh, and here it's saying 30 minutes. This basically means um, that it will warn you when your meeting's about to come up. So it'll either pop up on your computer if you're online, or you'll get sent an email and it will come to you, or it will pop up 30 minutes before the event. Change that as you see fit. Currently, this is showing me as busy and we have a calendar default. You can change it to public or private. That's for the visi uh, visibility for other people. Um, you can add guest guests here. You stick their email address in and click Add. Hopefully, there we go. On the 30th of April, which is tomorrow, we have an entry called Test between 12.30 and 1.30 as we just did a moment ago. So half an hour before, if you recall, 30 minutes before, we will be notified about this event. If you recall, we did say it was in London in the UK. And that is how you add an entry into your diary. If you want to change the settings, it's pretty easy as well. You, you view how you view your calendar. Um, along this line here, we can set it as day. You can set it as a week view, which is my favorite. You can set it as a month view, um, four day view as well. And um, you can also have uh, your agenda there of all your meetings that pops up or any events that uh, Google have already um, marked in for you. I'll just go back to the week one there because that's how I like it. And what I didn't mention a moment ago is if um, if you don't want to go through the, the option here of creating an event in your calendar, um, you can just click um, anywhere you want to set one up and this will pop up and you can just stick in whatever you want. It says T at the Ritz there. So let's just copy that. T at the Ritz. Create 
create event and there it pops up so that's pretty quickly as well if you want to do that um, I'll just click on undo to get rid of it because I'm not having tea at the Ritz um, that's it in a nutshell it uh, couldn't really be any easier than that it's a straightforward diary so um, hope you enjoyed this very quick tutorial on Google calendars thanks for watching